who is inflation hurting the most? You know, uh, Mr. Bhattacharya, there's a sense that the middle class is the one at the, at the moment which is really getting hit. Uh, incomes have been down in COVID times, there's been a job crisis and now comes inflation. It comes at a time when we just when we thought we were getting out of the COVID trap comes inflation to haunt us. How do you see it? Is that the big question mark that the middle class is hurting or as Professor Arun Kumar and others probably will say those in the unorganized sector? No, so the first point of hurt of inflation and we know this, Governor Subarao used to say this again and again, uh, that the inflation hurts the poorest the most. There's no doubt about that. So some of the government interventions uh, via food, via some of the other subsidies uh, is, is, some, is, is a little bit of a palliative uh, to these, but I mean, their income levels are so low anyway that oh, their savings get wiped out or whatever. But a large part of the mass market demand that we see in India that is so attractive to global investors, etc., does come in from the middle class. Uh, on the upper, I mean, if you see some of the private sector data points, say CMI, uh, if you see some of the data from CMI, uh, income, expenditure, savings are concentrated in the top one, two, three decides. I mean, if you split it in 10 parts, so it's there. Uh, so that part, that those segments are probably not impacted all that much. But it is the middle segment, as you said, the middle class, the average, the median uh, size of the households, mm -hmm. uh, which is the mass, which is the base of the mass demand that we see in the system. And there, exactly as you mentioned, incomes are getting squeezed. Interest rates have gone up, are, are beginning to go up. Prices across the board, as Mr. Joshi men mentioned, uh, across the board have gone up. So it is the consuming part of this part and not just from the consumption demand angle because this mm -hmm. class is probably eating into the savings uh, that they had and that is likely to affect the, the supply of funds. Uh, you know, I mean, the CAPEX cycle is just about uh, beginning to rise. I mean, you need the funds and it is this segment, the middle income, not just from a squeeze in demand, but will also squeeze the amount of savings that they will put in by Can banks I, or other institutions to fund uh, domestic campaigns. You know, fuel was, has, was on fire, particularly after March, the elections were over, global oil prices were on the rise after the Ukraine war. Food prices also uh, have been uh, rising, uh, including ATA prices at the highest ever level. And yet, Professor Arun Kumar, we don't see any massive protests uh, of the kind that we saw even in 2013 when the Manmohan Singh government was facing the problem of, uh, of inflation and uh, uh, was battling, in a sense, low growth and inflation. Do you believe that there, will, that there is a sense of where is the unrest? We don't see unrest at the moment despite the high prices. You know, uh, poor people seldom protest on their own. They're organized. So it's a political issue. Uh, when the opposition parties are able to mobilize, then actually you see protest. If the opposition is not able to mobilize, then you don't see protest. But if you look at it, you know, 94% in the unorganized sector have lost incomes and have lost employment. And they are the ones who are hurting. Uh, five kilogram of, uh, you know, food or some gas, etc. does help. But their basic income has gone down. You know, if you look at the price... You, you, don't, accept, you, don't, accept, the you don't accept that the government's targeted schemes, in particular providing food uh, and food grain in this period, has helped? Of course, that's what I said that you know, this five kilogram of uh, food and you know, uh, gas supply, et cetera, does help a little, but overall incomes are down. And that's why the uh, rest of the consumption is down. And that's why their situation is not what it was earlier. And that's why I was quoting the price survey, which came at the time of the budget, which showed that the bottom 60% in the income categories, they have lost incomes as compared to the pre the, uh, the, uh, you know, demonetization period. Is the top 20% that gave, gained 30% income. I'll also quote to you the uh, socioeconomic survey of Delhi, which came out in 2018. which showed that 90% of Delhiites spend less than 25,000 rupees per month as a family of five, and 98% spend less than 50,000 rupees. Now, given that Delhi's per capita income is roughly three times the All India per capita income, that translates to an all India level of roughly 90% family spending less than 10,000 rupees per month. Now, at that level, you know, fuel price increase and other price increases are going to hurt because now we see a generalized inflation in the consumer price index is not just food, it's also textiles, it's also leather goods, it's also other uh, 